Okay, what's up, y'all? Today, I will be making tuna fish. So first, let me tell you the stuff that you will need to make this. Some people call it tuna salad. Some people call it tuna fish. I call it tuna fish. So the things that I need to make, or you will need, we both will need to make this dish is a bowl to um, store the tuna fish in. You also need like a spoon or a fork, which I haven't got yet. Um, for my tuna fish, I use Miracle Whip. You may use any um, mayo you would like to use or Miracle Whip or salad dressing. I also use sweet relish. Now, if you want to use dill relish, some people like the uh, more of a sour taste and some people like more of a sweet taste. I like sweet. And the Miracle Whip is kind of like sort of sweet too. Um, I like to put red onion in mine and I'll have some eggs that are cooling over there on the stove. So that's the first thing you want to do before when you start this dish is to go ahead and put your eggs on. Also, for the tuna, I will be using the, um, yes, the Great Value brand. To me, it doesn't matter. If you want to use a fancy brand, go ahead, but I'm using the Great Value brand. And it's in water. And I have eight cans of tuna fish because in my house, when I make tuna fish, it goes like that. Also, to season it, I'll be using some black pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. So, let's begin. Okay, y'all. So, uh, off camera, I basically, um opened up all my cans of tuna and what i like to do for mine i don't know if it's the same for you guys but i drain my tuna out as best as i can i normally even like open it up drain it and squeeze it with my hands just because like when you finish making the tuna fish and stuff like that and if you leave too much juice in there when you put it in the refrigerator it'll like start settling and it'll start separating into like the juiciness i don't know it's just i don't like it and it makes me not want to eat the tuna fish anymore even though you can just stir it back up and it, sh it would be fine but I prefer just to kind of have like semi dry tuna. I mean, not it's not really dry, but like not over um, saturated tuna, I guess. So this is what the tuna looks like. And like I said, I drained it, but this time I didn't use my hands. I just uh, used a, I just used the can basically. I just held the can down. Anything in the background? Disregard. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna use a fork to get out the tuna, just because for the sake of people who are like, why are you using your hands? You know, those type of people who are like, get a life. But anyway, I'm just gonna take all the tuna. I have a bag off to the side, my trash bag. This is just a basic Walmart bag <laughs> to put all the remnants of the cans in there. And like for you, it might be different. Let me just say this: um, I don't do measurements, so I just go by eye and taste. So I'm using all these cans of tuna. And it might seem like a lot to y'all, but I'm telling you, in my house, tuna goes so quick. I swear, if I could package this stuff, I would. I wish I could taste this. I just love how I make tuna fish. Now, normally I use the Star Chunk or whatever it's called, Starlight or something brand, but this was 68 cents. Those, the, the whatever, I forgot what it's called. Star, star kiss or something tuna I don't know y'all know the ones in the blue pack yeah I usually use those but those are like a dollar each I think or like maybe even more than that and these are 66 cents I think or 86 cents so me using 8 cans of tuna of course I'm going to go with the one that's cheaper so that's what I did so now I'm kind of breaking up the tuna in a bowl kind of excited about this y'all because like normally y'all really can't see me working with the food but today y'all can the only thing now is I need another light in here because like a couple of my lights in the kitchen are like <clears throat> out 
out. Like these two lights right here are out. So like over the like bar area. So it might be bright if I have those on or if I had my other lights, but y'all can work with this, right? So I'm gonna start off with putting like let's see that's two, three, this is four, five, six, seven. This is 10 teaspoons of the mayo. Let's see how it gets. If you need a bigger spoon, feel free because this one is like kind of. Should just use this for the mayo and it got a bigger spoon to stay or something. Or maybe I'll wipe this off and use the fork to stare or stir. Excuse me. So that was 10 teaspoons of mayonnaise. And that's not enough for me. So let me put like five more and see what happens. I know it's on the floor. Okay. Let's see what this does. in there probably man today I'm telling y'all I'm gonna have arthritis at an early age my wrist is hurting okay I know I'm probably gonna need some more but first let me just put some relish in there so this is a sweet relish like I told y'all okay and I'm not measuring this I'm just putting this in taste and eye It's like I dread making this because I know how fast it's gonna go and I just been like real lazy with wanting to cook anything anyway and just knowing that I'm gonna cook make this and then it'll be gone that quick <coughs> it makes me not want to do it but then once I start doing it I'm like I'm happy that I'm doing this because I love tuna fish man I've been craving this I was craving this all day today I even wanted to eat it for lunch but I went out with one of my co-workers for lunch and he had polio rahil. If y'all ever had that, it's so good. And it's okay that this uh, is taking me longer and that's why I'm kind of talking to y'all and stuff like that because I'm going to demolish this sandwich whenever I make it. So that part of the video is not going to be that long. So I just want y'all to see how I make this. And eventually, I will start getting all my equipment, and y'all be able to see better. But I think y'all can see good enough to know what to do, right? So, look how, that's how much mayo I've used so far. But this is one of those the little small containers of mayo. I usually have a big one, but I think we might have some more in the refrigerator. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I lost track of the counts of spoonfuls. So. If you want to count along then you can go ahead and to know how much to put in there or you can just do about taste the eyes pretty much like a preference of what you like so I'm gonna put some black pepper in there now and once again I don't really do I just do by eye because I make this all the time and I put a little bit of garlic powder because you really don't need that much flavor it's gonna have onions in there so that's what I'm gonna cut up next onions like you need some more mayo but let me taste it a little bit more mayo that's good that should be good now and let me tell you whenever you uh Whenever you get ready to have this, a good idea or something that will make it taste even better to me 
put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let it chill. There's nothing better than a cold tuna sandwich. <clears throat> With some chips on the side. I bought uh, you know those bag of chips that the kids take to lunch. I bought a whole big bag of those. So it's like different varieties of chips. And there's nothing better than that. So this is what it's ended up looking like. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper in there. And then I'm going to go off camera, I think, and cut up the stuff that makes it too. <clears throat> That's why I squeeze out so much of the juice because you're going to be having the juice from a relish. You're going to be having the, the, the mayo in there. So you want to just squeeze out as much juice as you can so that way... But it's not my best one. Let's just say that. Sometimes I make the tuna and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so good. But maybe it'll be better when I uh, put it in the refrigerator. I love onions, especially red onions. Well, let's just say I love red onions. I like onions, but I love red onions. I love sauteed yellow onions or white onions with bell peppers and all that and mushrooms but for like a raw onion definitely want to go with the purple i just want to slice it up if your kids don't like onions or your husband don't like onions or your mom or your brother whoever you're making this for a good trick is just cut them up real small and it's barely even noticeable I'm not gonna make mine that small, but I am gonna play it up kind of small. Not a professional cutter, so. Do not. I just wipe the uh, back of my nose. Not even like where the snot comes out, just the skin. again the part that I hate the most about this is the egg part so let me just put the onions in there that should probably be enough let's see let's see very quickly uh, let's put that right over there let's get this and start with the onions there's some like kind of Bigger pieces, but it'll be okay. Gotta have that crunch in there. You already got a little bit of crunch from that relish, but you wanna have that crunch of onions. So that's enough onions. Okay, now I'm gonna cut, out, cut up the eggs. And I'll be back for that because I gotta peel them myself, so I'll be back. Alright. So I'm back with the peeled eggs. So let's see if I can get this both in the frame. and here's the eggs now that's what the eggs look like inside uh if y'all don't know what eggs look like inside <laughs> the heck was that okay let's see what only is that man bag anyway um you can cut it up however you want to if you want to cut it like this and put it in there if you want to cut it just in three, so whatever. Cut it up to the best of your ability. But I'm gonna just cut it up like that. So, um, for the eggs, I usually do um, minus one egg of the cans I'm cooking. So if I was cooking like five cans, I would do four eggs. If I was cooking like like today. I don't know why I keep saying cooking. If I was making two cans of tuna fish, I would do one egg. If I was making three cans of fish, I would do two eggs. But you know, as you get higher, 
you can kind of like decrease the number of eggs. Like of course, if you're doing two cans, you can. I mean, you might as well not do half an egg. Or if you're doing one can, you can't do really half an egg. You gotta do, you know, a full egg. But I did today eight cans of tuna fish, and I only did five eggs. Cause I was like, you know, I only bought one uh, carton of eggs, and that's already. And then one of the eggs broke, of course, and so there's only 12 eggs in there. So if I do seven eggs, and that leaves me with like five eggs. So, but anyway, I broke an egg, and I used five eggs. So I have six eggs. <laughs> so it was like I could have just did the other egg or whatever. Point is, just do like do how many ever eggs you want to do. Okay, let's just put it like that. Let's just sum it up like that. But yeah, this is the worst part for me. I hate doing the eggs because. The eggs get all up on the nail. It's just like, I don't know, very tedious thing. So, off camera, I added like one more tablespoon of mayo and like a, probably about, uh, or teaspoon, and like one more teaspoon of relish, a sprinkle of garlic, and a sprinkle of pepper. And then I'm adding these eggs. I'm gonna stir it all up, put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna watch a little TV and then I'll come back when it's kind of chill and I will eat. If you want to, you can dress up your tuna fish sandwich or tuna sandwich with some lettuce, tomato, and some red onion, or you could just have it plain. Today I'm just gonna have mine plain because I feel it don't feel like trying to clean the lettuce and cut it all up and cut up the tomatoes and cut up the onion with onions already right here. But I don't feel like trying to do all that because I'm tired. I, at, right after work, I went grocery shopping. Well, not really grocery shopping, but to pick up the items for this. And I picked up a little, few more other things. And I just want to relax. So, I'm going to just uh, make this, like I said. I'm going to just show y'all the final product. After I stare this in. I'm sorry, I say stare. Stare. Let's see how much eggs it, if it, it is. If I would have put seven eggs in here, it would have been way more. But I like eggs in mine. I like to have texture in my tuna fish. I don't want just no tuna with no mayo. I want everything in here. This is what it looks like. It looks darn good to me. That's it. And that's what it looks like, y'all. Mm -hmm. See y'all in a minute. What's up, y'all? As y'all know, in the beginning of this video, I made tuna fish. So I hope y'all enjoyed this cook with me. Well, somebody was just saying that they liked when I did the cook with me. So <laughs> every time I've been doing cook with me, besides like, an, uh, I think one other time I actually cooked, but it, like, I feel like the one I feel like you can't really go wrong with making a sandwich. I didn't do the making the sandwich part on the camera, but I did show y'all how to cook or make a tuna fish. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't look that great in this lighting, but oh I didn't even try my gun. I got a few two chips with it. See if I can. Hold on. I don't know if that's going to be the thumbnail or if the tuna is going to be the thumbnail. My best thing to go with a tuna sandwich. To me, either Dorito, Hot Cheetos, or regular Lay's. Number one being classic Lay's. A 
tuna sandwich with some classic lays. Man. What's your favorite type of sandwich? And do y'all like tuna fish sandwiches or not? I didn't let... Normally I like my tuna like super duper chilled. Like cold, like super cold. But I didn't let it... I edit this whole video. Well, the whole um cooking part. It's still not chill. How I like it, but it'll do. I really need to stop slouching, but I'm trying to like stay in frame. Here we go. So, how y'all doing today? I'm good, I hope. question for y'all but I forgot it that quick oh, here's another one what's your favorite chip my favorite Okay, my favorite type of Lay's. You really can't go wrong with classic Lay's, especially with a sandwich. So, I'm gonna go with classic Lay's and then for like the flavored Lay's, probably the cheddar sour cream maybe. My favorite type of Dorito is spicy nacho and the burgundy pack. Or those new ones are actually pretty good. The Blaze. Those are nice and spicy. The Hot Cheetos or Hot Fries and Hot Popcorn. I like the best chips. My top three favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry y'all if I look dead, but. <clears throat> I'm tired, man. I slept like an extra 10 minutes today. Strolling into work. Thank God tomorrow is Saturday. But I have to work on Saturday, so. People be like, who's my Friday? I don't really get a Friday because my, my off days are separated. So. One off day is in the middle of the week, and one off day is on the weekend. Probably have another one of these in like an hour. Zarka water with some shivers of ice. If y'all know who says that, comment below. I'm 
down first. So I got the <clears throat> pack of chips that has the blue Doritos, the red Doritos, um, sour cream and onion, barbecue, Cheetos, and the chili cheese Fritos. I think the original one has like Lay's, Cheetos, Fritos, maybe sour cream and onion, and barbecue. And maybe like the red Doritos. I wasn't really in the mood to eat sour cream. That's one I grabbed first. That's another chip that does go good with the um, tuna fish also. I wasn't in the mood. So I put them back in like this. So, I've been knocking these videos out. Today, for me, it's Friday. So, y'all should be, y'all should have got the, um, the crab boil video. And tomorrow, on the weekend, I'm off. I'm not gonna do any videos on the weekend. I'm gonna do Monday through Friday for now. So, Monday, y'all should have already got the face mask challenge. And then, Tuesday, I think y'all got, y'all should be getting another, like, taco. So it'd be right on for Taco Tuesday. No, I'm lying. Taco Tuesday. It'll be on Monday. So maybe I'll do this one on Monday. And Tuesday I'll do Taco Tuesday and I'll do a challenge on Wednesday. But I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do the challenge probably on Tuesday. But I won't upload it to Wednesday, so that way y'all can have Taco Tuesday on Tuesday. And y'all can get this on Monday. So you won't see the, you'll see this on Monday. So happy Monday to y'all. I just love how we just figure stuff out. <laughs> Especially because I didn't finish my chips. Oh, um, that was my question. How many people eat your chips with your sandwich? Like when you're eating the sandwich, you're eating the chip too. And you're going back and forth. Like you're literally eating the chips with the sandwich like a normal person. <laughs> and how many people... Eat your sandwich first, and then eat your chips. Or eat your chips first and eat your sandwich. I think that is just so weird. Like, unless it doesn't really go with what you got. Like, if I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm not gonna eat my chips with my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm gonna eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwich first, and then I'm gonna eat my chips. But if I'm eating like a regular sandwich, like a ham sandwich or a tuna sandwich or any other kind of sandwich. I'm going to eat my chips and my sandwich together. I might even put my chips on my sandwich. How many of y'all do that or have ever done that? I 
I mean, it's, I mean, it's so weird when people eat like chips after a sandwich. It's like, what's the whole point? You might as well not even get chips. Cause by the time you finish your sandwich, you're gonna be full. There's really no purpose. If I it was one of those people, I would never eat chips. Cause I wouldn't order my chips just to eat my chips after my sandwich, you know? Okay. Like, the longer you take to eat, your space for you to start getting full starts closing. That gap starts closing. So by the time you finish your sandwich, you're not even really hungry. You probably just eat those chips just to eat them because you bought them at this point. But then again, you can save the chips and the sandwich but might not be so easy to save, you know? So, I guess it's just a personal preference, but I eat my chips in my sandwich. Anyway, y'all, this video is already super long because I did the whole cook with me in the beginning. So, finish my sandwich. I'm full. For now, I'll probably. Make another sandwich or like half a sandwich later. And you get that one piece of bread, stuff in the middle, fold it over, boom. Probably have one of those later. Thank y'all for joining me today. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, if you're new to this channel. Please subscribe. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.